We live in a world in which hostile thoughts and ideas are constantly present in the media, pressing in on our consciousness. Events are often also outside of our control, outside of our control, but not outside of control. Others use these concepts and events to create this anxiety. Thoughts flow in a sequence, and by inserting harmful media into your life, your thoughts can be hijacked. Once you are behaving in a reactive state, you will spread these contaminated ideas to others, allowing them to degrade more people. Practice basic media safety. Control your information environment. Act, don't react. When performing at a peak condition, often the deciding factor is mental state. Ideas have a form and a weight. When you become dedicated to an idea, it takes on a new dimension. It becomes denser, tougher to move, intractable. This tenacious stubbornness is required to become a resistance. Aside from the polymer frame, the Glock's most controversial design choice is the lack of external safety switch, relying entirely on its three internal safeties. Glock made this decision because Austrian soldiers carried pistols with an empty chamber, making a safety switch redundant. Americans usually carry pistols with a round chambered, so after adopting the Glock, there was an epidemic of Americans accidentally shooting themselves and each other. The FBI Academy performed a study and found that the Glock pistol has quote, high potential for unintentional shots. Glock always points out that the internal safety features guarantee that the weapon will never fire unless the trigger is pulled. If users pull the trigger at the wrong time, it's their own damn fault. American Glock fans agree, saying that these negligent discharges are a training problem and not a design problem. The one thing that everyone agrees on is that loaded Glock pistols can only be carried with an appropriate holster and with sufficient training. You shouldn't keep a loaded Glock in the front of your waistband unless you really need help hitting those high notes.
Cooper's second rule of gun safety is to never point the gun at something you are not willing to destroy. Now this seems obvious, but is easy to forget in the moment. If you are training at the range and a burning hot shell casing falls down your shirt, are you prepared to keep the gun pointed at the target? Uh, if the gun malfunctions, are you sure you won't point it sideways to get a better look at what's wrong? Uh, what if you were preparing to take it apart for routine maintenance? Are you still paying attention to which way the barrel is pointing? Many accidents take place while cleaning guns, because that's often when we let our guard down. Many people believe that the brain is the seat of consciousness, yet important thoughts and feelings are carried out in ganglia, clusters of neurons found throughout the body. The mind stretches within the body and controls it. Conditions in the body reflect the mind, and damage to the body is damage to the mind as well. <laughs> 